so as you guys can see from the title, i will be doing my unboxing of my new iphone xs max and i did get the silver one you guys because i do have the iphone 8 plus in the gold rose gold whatever color it's supposed to be and before that i did have the 7 plus in the gold as well so i didn't want to get another gold phone even though the gold one is really really cute i just opted out to get something that i never had before and i've never had or own a silver iphone now this is my iphone 8 plus you guys can see my lights in the back still looks so freaking new i actually have two of these one for personal one for business and of course i do have an android as well so i'm team android and iphone because i mean it is what it is to each its own and of course this is like i said my phone and yes oh i look so delicious right there shout out to me honey want to take a look how you doing? So like I said, I did want to get the same phone. And you guys, before I do my quick unboxing, and I had to go ahead and open the box because you can see like my address. T-Mobile put it on all sides of this box, which was so stupid. But like I said, I do have the 8 Plus in the gold. I really do love this phone. Um, I'm probably still going to use this phone as well. And I'll probably get rid of the other one um i'm not sure i'm not sure what i'm gonna do just of yet uh if you guys want me to do like a comparison video leave in the comments or give it a thumbs up because there there are a lot of differences in the 8 plus versus the max so you guys know because i did have this phone i had the iphone 10 for about a week and i took it back because it was too small and in that video i said if apple could only make a bigger one i would totally forget about that big ass notch in the top of the phone because the screen would be big and you don't have to worry about noticing it because the screen will be big as fuck so with that being said when they announced the max i was like oh yes Thank you, Apple, for listening. Even though I'm sure they didn't watch my little ass channel, I'm sure they heard it from so many other people that said, um, how could you make an iPhone 10 without making an iPhone 10 Plus? Like, how can you make a small one or make a big one for the people who have bigger phones? Like, come on, Apple, what, what's good? Like, what's goody? You make an iPhone 6, then you make an iPhone 6 Plus. You make an iPhone 7, you make an iPhone 7 Plus. You make an iPhone 8, you make an iPhone 8 Plus. Like, what's good? So enough rambling, because I know y'all like, bitch, just open this motherfucking, like open this box. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just take it out of the box. And Timo will put some shit in here. I don't even know what this is. It looks just like that. Just some shit so it won't fall out of the box, which it was sealed so freaking tight. And voila, this is it. This is it. This is it. I need to slide my ring light back on because it's like blinding. And my camera back just a little bit. Okay. So as you guys can see, this is how it looks. Now, Apple definitely tried to, you know, hide the notch at the top with this black screen so you can't see it. But you guys know I love big phones. And yes, my nails are long as hell. If you are new watching... I have long nails moving on so like i said you can't see the notch if you are someone and you don't like that notch at the top when i had my ex after a while you do get used to it being there so it's not a big deal but because like i said the screen was so small on the x and i'm used to having bigger phones it, it definitely was annoying but you guys i'm definitely going to love this phone like i already have seen so many reviews or so i've seen i just look i've done my research so like i said i did get the silver one like i said the gold one is gorgeous but because i mean i already had gold phones and if i'm going to purchase a phone that's over a thousand dollars okay over a thousand dollars i'm going to get the one that i want i don't care if everyone else got gold i wanted to get silver because i just love how the clean look how clean it looks on the back and it's so gorgeous because i did have um the 10 before but it just was small 
This is how it looks on the side. Of course, like I said, I got the silver one. And because this phone was so freaking expensive, I only got the 64 gig because girl, 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 that 500 some gig is like $1,400, bitch, no. So I did get the 64 gig because on one of my phones, I have the 256 and on another one, I have um, the 64. And I don't even think I've used a lot of memory on this phone. Let's just see how much I've used. I know y'all like get into the unboxing. I'm definitely doing this on purpose, not unboxing it quick. I just want to see just because how much memory I have. I really want to see how much memory I have in this phone. Seriously. Um, let's see. Okay, so you guys, out of 64 gig, now this is my 64 gig one. I only have, let me cover up my IMEI. I have 48 available. So, I mean, it's pretty good. And because I have Google Photos, all of my photos and videos and stuff is bagged up in there. So, if you don't have Google Photos, I definitely recommend you guys do. That's why it doesn't show a lot on my phone. But, yeah, I mean, like I said, I do love my 8 plus i do love the gold but your girl didn't want to do the gold so i'm gonna go ahead and unbox this for you guys it's tearing like i said i did get the 64 gig and it's always so tight when you first get the phone so i'm just gonna hold it like this so you guys can see hope you guys can see i'm in the center oh my god i'm so excited like i'm shaking i'm literally shaking okay so of course you have the designed by apple in california and then i'll put this to the side inside here you guys know what comes in the inside of here apple logos i'm not a fan like of the stickers and stuff like that and then is there anything else in here that's pretty much it inside and then you have your hello y'all know apple is very simple they give you one piece of paper everything else you got to find out on your own but for all the people that watch me, if you have Android and think about getting an iPhone, this is how it comes. Just this one little ass piece of paper. Like, you got to figure everything else out on your own. Simple. Like, Apple is simplicity, okay? And then, of course, you have your SIM card where you inject to take your SIM card in and out, which I'll set all that up off camera. So, that's that. And then, of course... Here is the phone. Here is the phone. So I'm going to go ahead and sit it to the side. And as you guys can see, you got your USB. Then, of course, you have your headphones. Now, someone told me that this part was not going to be in here. And you know what? That part is not in here. Really, Apple, for a phone that costs over a thousand dollars so this is the cord that goes in here to charge the phone let me open this right quick so this is the headphones okay where is that other piece that really so it's not in here so do you have to purchase it for i think it's like 10 bucks someone let me know in the comments down below if you know what i'm talking about how can you get a phone that's over a thousand apple where is that other piece? It's not even in here. So for $1,000, you don't get that piece. You got to pay for that too. Oh, that's some bullshit. And also, they say that you have the fasting charger capability, whatever it's supposed to be charger, whatever. Where is that cord? Like, it's not even in here as well. So somebody lying. Whatever. Anyway, I'll do my research and see where's that little piece because it's definitely not in my box. So, you guys, this is how the back looks. Oh, my God, it's so pretty. I love that it looks just really clean, very white, 
very sheer oh my god it's so gorgeous this is so gorgeous let me do like a size comparison right quick this is how it looks you guys can see really on camera it really does not do any justice honestly and honestly that i'm looking at it it's about the same size now this is supposed to be a 6.5 inch um it really looks about the same size to be quite honest so that's how it look at the back okay and then if you want to compare the front that's the difference of course you have just this part the screen this is all screen so are you guys ready and honestly do i want to turn it on and set it up i think i'm gonna set it up and do all that off camera i may come back and do and we have power i may come back and do like a comparison if you guys want me to i just wanted to do my real quick unboxing because i do want to go set my phone up and play with my phone and things like that you have to put the face id all that good jazz of course with the new phone it comes with ios 12 um, but I had already updated my phone, which there's a lot of things about iOS 12 that I don't like and there's things that I do like. But like I said, of course, you have to go in here and set it up and all that good jazz. And I'm already loving how big this screen is. I'm so afraid I'm going to drop it. This is the difference. Shout out to whoever that is snapping me. If you guys want to see the display, that's how it looks. Just like this. And this video will go up today as soon as I'm done. Filming this, I will put it up today. So if you guys just want to see one more time, the screen size difference. This is all screen. And I do have some phone cases down below. Um, right now it is saying, of course, you know, it has that feature right here. As you guys can see, set up new iPhone and I could unlock to continue, but I'm not. And it says set up new iPhone, set up your new iPhone. This will transfer your current settings, but I'm not. I'm just going to set this up like so, but you can do that. That's a really cool feature if you want to just transfer everything over from this phone to that phone, but I'm not. So I'm just going to put these over to the side like so. And a lot of you guys are asking me about the phone cases. So if you guys want a case collection, give it a big thumbs up. I already have like 20 cases already. You guys know I am a quake. <laughs> a case queen so i'll show you guys like four four of the most basic cases you guys will ever see me wear on my phone as a matter of fact i'll take it out of the package i get my phone cases from all over etsy.com aliexpress ebay amazon everywhere i mean i'm sure best buy have some five below i get my phone cases from everywhere you just have to search so this one looks just like this. I definitely wanted just an all clear phone case that was protective. And I'll check it out so you guys can see. It looks just like this. And that's how it look at the back. It's kind of like one of those Tech 21 phone cases. And then I did want to get like a really cute. This is going to be, I think this is going to be the one I'm going to put on my phone. Oh, this is going to be so gorgeous. It's so clean and so pure. That's why I wanted to go with the silver instead of the gold. Because I just wanted... You know, I'm so used to the golds. Even though it's a different color gold, it's still gold. That's why I opt out on the gold. Everyone loves the gold. It's pretty, but I just didn't want to do it. This is so cute. It has like um, I'll try to link. If, if you guys want me to link some of the phone cases down below, I can go and find them and put them down below. And I'll take this out so you guys can see. And then the inside looks just like this. It has a really good protection in it as well. And I think this phone case cost me like five bucks. I really do like how it looks. I hope it's picking up on camera. You guys, this is so pretty and so simple. That's just going to look so cute in here. Just look how gorgeous that's going to be. Oh, that's going to be so pretty, right? And then I'll show you guys the other ones I have real quick. I'm only going to show a few. Like I said, thumbs up for a what's on my iPhone and thumbs up for a case collection and in that case collection i can definitely leave all the links down below in that video as well 
So this one I put on my Snapchat last night. If you guys are not following me on Snapchat, definitely follow me. Snapchat gets first dibs on everything. How gorgeous is this? It's like a holographic um, phone case with marble. So I was like, this is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. And I'm going to take it out so you guys can see. It looks just like that. Super cute. So gorgeous. I know. So cute. If I say so cute one more time, I know somebody's like, oh my God, you say so cute one more time. So cute. <laughs> and then this is the other one. Online, it looked black, but in person, this is brown. I'm not sure if you guys can see. You want to look at the two. This is how they look together, like so. I like this one better. I'm definitely going to still rock this one as well. And this is how it looks. So if you guys want me to do a case collection with all the links, I can definitely do that for you guys. But for now, I'm just going to go set up my iPhone. Both of them are literally stuck in here. You guys can see. I'm really, really loving this phone. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave all your video requests down below that you want to see on the iPhone Max. And I'm not even going to be like iPhone XX Max iPhone Max, simple as that. iPhone X Plus, if you really want to know the truth. So, yeah, if you guys did get this phone or you think about getting this phone, definitely leave in the comments down below what phone you have. And if you are getting this phone, I will try to come back and do a comparison between the two if you guys want. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram. Like I said, Snapchat, get first dibs on everything. Don't forget to subscribe to become a part of your girl's channel because we are family over here. Because y'all know I fucks with y'all. So I love you guys so, so much. And until next time, you guys. Maybe you